welcome back to the vlogs welcome back to i think the last ramadan vlog and i thought i would show you my ramadan morning routine it looks like a lot of my morning routines just maybe with some tweaks minus the food of course um but yeah i wanted to film me waking up like in the middle of the night but I kind of spaced on that but let me just tell you like running through i wake up around 2 a.m that gives me like an hour um so i i don't eat anything i tried to eat in the first couple of days of ramadan but i just felt like it made it so much harder for me to fall asleep so i usually just drink something so i have my water and i just sit here in the living room i have my water and i pray for that hour and especially now during the last 10 days those are like where you should really prioritize uh, praying so i do that and i love that time it's just me alone it's dark outside and yeah so that's what i do and then i pray like the morning prayer and then i go back to sleep and now when i woke up i did my skincare i made the bed and i did a little bit of a stretching session i'm trying to do it every day I'm not the best at it like I do it one day, then I forget for two days, then I do it again, but I'm trying because I feel like it really helps my body feel a lot looser and not as like tight in a way, I don't know. But yeah, so today is Thursday, I'm working from home and it is almost time for me to start working, it's almost 8 o'clock, um, but yeah, it's super bright outside. So that makes me happy. I'm gonna take you guys along with me for my little morning. So since I'm not making any breakfast or anything like that, I didn't need to wake up too early. But now I'm gonna start working and I think in a little bit, I'm gonna take a break and go for a walk because I haven't really been working out during Ramadan. I've been too tired to do it and I just don't feel like I should push myself to do it if I don't really feel like my body is up for it. So instead I've been trying to like move my body in ways that aren't like going to the gym so going out for a walk is perfect for that and it looks like the weather is really really nice so we're going to do that in a bit but first I'm going to start off with my work because I have a lot to do today um I also I returned that dress from the last vlog did not like it at all and I got another one and it came in the mail yesterday but I haven't tried it on so maybe I'll try that on as well. So this is my little setup that I have going on. I love sitting in the kitchen and working. It's just super bright in here and that's why I like it. Um, but yeah I have a few phone calls that I have to get done and then I'm also going to journal a little bit just like do my daily journaling and my daily planning so i'll show you guys that but first i'm just gonna get a few things done answer a few emails and then we'll do that break from that and do a little writing in my little planner. I love this planner. I am so happy that I got it. It is amazing. Let's see what give me. Uh, okay, so today is a Thursday, like I said, and um, I'm working today, tomorrow, and Ramadan is 
and the, like the last day of Ramadan is either on Saturday or on Sunday. So first day of Eid is either Sunday or Monday. I have taken Monday off work, which I'm really happy about because um, we have a, like a few plans to celebrate with the family. And then I'm working Tuesday, Wednesday, next week, and then Thursday I leave for London with my best friend, so I'm super excited. So like, just a lot of fun things coming up. So excited, so grateful. Um, but yeah, I like to just kind of plan out my day, so we're still like in the beginning of the day, so I'm going to show you guys. I don't know if you guys can see, but it's like Thursday, and it's just like a regular planner. The only difference is this is like an Islamic planner. It has like down here your prayers and stuff like that where you, where you can like yeah put an x over them if you've done them so i have prayed the morning prayer so i just do that um and then i'm just gonna write like what i have like work so i need to do that and i like to do this in the morning just so that i can see like how my day is going to look and how much i can actually realistically do because I have this thing where I plan so many things to do in a day where I think that that's realistic but then when I put it down on paper I'm like okay there is no way I can realistically do this in a day um, and that's better because that way I won't feel like disappointed if I don't do everything because I feel when I see it written down I'm like okay this is too much for one day so for today just like in my head I knew that I wanted to work I did the laundry like yesterday and I didn't like um, fold it and put it away, which isn't like me because I always do that, but I didn't do that, so I need to do that. Um, I was also like really doing like a deep clean of the bedroom and I have a few things left, so I wanted to do that. I needed to go out and I, or I want to go out and take a walk and I have a package to pick up. Um, I want to clean up around the apartment because it's just not looking very tidy and I want to cook for iftar so it's kind of like a lot to do when you have like a full 95 day of working as well um, so I don't think I'm gonna have time to do all of those things so I'm just gonna try to like write down a little bit and prioritize and maybe push a few things to tomorrow I also really like that this planner has like a little notes or brainstorm or doodle a little square because I love to write like just like random thoughts there or things like that I want to do that week but I don't really have like any specific time for them yet so that's what I like to do. Went out to take a little walk, just get some fresh air, move around a little bit, and I love this for my morning routine. It is a little bit windy, but it's actually really, really nice. And I'm also gonna go pick up a package since I'm already out, and the package is super exciting. It's stuff for my hair because I'm dyeing my hair probably this weekend. Super, super excited, so I'm happy that it all came in. And I was afraid that it wasn't gonna come in time, but it did, so super excited. So we're gonna go pick that up on my little hot girl Ramadan walk, basically. really nice the weather was so nice and I like that I kind of adjust my workout to what I'm feeling then and there and just like during Ramadan this is what I have the energy to do so yeah I like this there, were, there would have been a time where I would not have respected like how my body is feeling and pushed myself 
to do like a crazy workout every day. I need to like wash up so I can pray, but I'm gonna open the package first and show you my dress. And I haven't told you what I'm doing with my hair yet. I'm gonna open it. I'm not gonna show you like the colors. I don't even remember what this is. So I got, well, I can tell you what this is. This is toners. I got two of them and I'm happy I got two of them because they're super tiny. Oh well, yeah, I guess with this I'm saying that what I'm doing with my hair requires bleaching so that I got a toner to just make it look better after I bleach it. Then I got, uh, I'm not gonna show you guys this because this is like a hair mask to preserve the color that I'm gonna dye my hair. But then I got one other thing. I totally forgot about this. This I have to show you. I saw this on TikTok. Anyways, I thought someone was knocking on the door, but I don't think so. I saw this on TikTok and I was like, ooh, I need that. So this is the Bedhead T T G I no T I G I. What is wrong with me? Bedhead hair stick for cool people. Wow, it's, that's what it's called. So I've seen this on TikTok and basically it's a hair stick that you kind of use to slick back like your hair when you're putting it up. And if you know me, I put up my hair basically all of the time. And this seems like the perfect thing because wax, if you put wax in your hair, then it looks crusty the other the next day. But this isn't supposed to do that. So we'll try it out in an upcoming video. Anyway, dress. I already opened it. Um, also from Naked. This is what it looks like. It's like a knitted black and white maxi dress. And I thought it would be cute with like a pair of sandals and maybe like an oversized blazer over if it's too cold. And I was, th I thought that the white would be like more white. It's more like grayish, but this is what it looks like. And I'm gonna try it out, of course, let's do that. I hope this is nice because otherwise, I can't buy any other stuff, there's no time. I'll just have to find something in my closet. Okay, um, this is not a maxi dress. It said on the website when I ordered it that it was a maxi dress. This is midi and uh, I don't think I like it. I don't know, nah, I, I'm, I'm not feeling it, it's just, the length and like the sleeves are a bit short and I, I got an extra small because I feel like knitted dresses are usually pretty big so if you want it to be fitted you have to go down the size. Sleeves. No, I don't like this. I need sleeves to be extra long, not short like this. This is a no-no for me. Um, so yeah, this is going back. And I guess we're gonna find something in my closet. I'll look tonight, I'll see if I can find something that I like. Benzo, why are you biting my feet? Okay, I am about to head into a shop and pray and then I'm gonna continue on working, but I'm gonna end this morning routine right here. I hope you guys enjoy it and I hope you enjoy the Ramadan vlogs. The next vlog will be a Eid vlog and then it's a London vlog. So I'm excited. Please don't forget to subscribe if you're not already and I will see you in my next one.